Cars collide with an earshot of a retired police officer. And not just any former officer, South Omaha City Councilman Gary Gurnett does everything he can to help at 30th and Q. KETV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts joins us there live. We now know that an Escalade side swiped another SUV that started a three car collision sliding eastbound here down Q Street. Believe it or not, that Escalade actually flipped on its top and landed in the bed of a pickup truck carrying two one year old children. When Councilman Grenade arrived on the scene, he found quite a mess and people needing medical attention. A blood curdling scream, get me out of here, get me out of here, help. I'm having a hard time breathing, those types of things. What he's not approving city budgets, Gary Gurnant isn't afraid to help people in trouble. The ones in the Escalade were you know, screaming for help. The retired Omaha police sergeant was not the only one who reacted to the urgent plea. About four or five uh, young men came over and we started to pull the roof that had collapsed on top of the occupants, try to get it away to relieve some of that pressure. Thursday afternoon, an Escalade, a trailblazer, and a pickup truck collided. By the damage, you'd think someone ran a red light, but investigators think everyone involved was traveling the same direction. It looks like all three were traveling eastbound uh, prior to contact. Uh, as you can see, they ended up in different directions. Uh, we are going to look at all the evidence, talk to witnesses to, to confirm anything before the investigation is complete. Four people went to the hospital, including two children, some of them rescued by Gurnant and people who live in the community he represents. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a little chaotic, and, uh, but I have to admit that uh, people wanted to help and get those folks out of there. I'm proud of South Omaha. They, they, they came to, to the rescue. It was confirmed that one of those victims went to the hospital in critical condition. As for those two one year old children, it sounds like they had minor injuries and they will be okay. Of course, this investigation remains under investigation. We're live near 30th and Q. Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7. Dave, thanks.